Welcome to Road to Untradables, my long-running spawn picker series in which I try to unlock every single untradable item within the game. Welcome to RTU. No way. Oh my god, I finally got a fucking rally. Oh my days. That feels so incredibly good to see. What's up everyone, Metal Raymond here and welcome to episode number 89 of RTU. Almost at the big 9-0, getting closer and closer. But for today, we have another $25 bond as we usually do on the in-between episodes. All you need to do is of course subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your in-game name down below and turn on the post notifications. If you've done all of that, you enter the giveaway. Wish you all the best of luck on that. I have to say this episode is going to be a bit of a mix, mix mash because the first half or ish First part of the video is going to be from before the Halloween update, while a lot of the other part is from after the update, such as the Scythe PKing. I'm gonna have to see how this uh, goes out, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump into the clip, shall we? Have a little Grandmaster solo, because I was editing number 88. Here we go with the loot. Ah, wow. Fucking hey, that's awful. PK bottles, who the fuck wants that shit? Your goddamn boy forgot he was in a raid, completely went AFK, and you know, Hunter already finished it a long time ago. I'm just gonna fish really stupidly for 1000 points and see if I can get lucky on the chest. I won't get good loot, but there is a chance of a rare, I guess. There we go with the points. Now let's open that stupid chest. Imagine if we get a rare now. Completely leeched it as well, I completely forgot about everything. Had it minimized, was watching videos, forgot about it. Oh well. <laughs> okay, cool. Not bad at all. Next, Grandmaster. Good luck with the five man boys. Nothing for me. But here you go, Ancestral Road Bottom, code I want. Nice little double loot. Very nice. Alright then guys, it took a while to save this all up, but it's not even that many. How many attempts is this? Like 6 attempts, so 109 till 114 if I'm correct. <sighs> I have no hopes anyway, but let's see if we can get lucky this time around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and of course not. Never lucky, you know? We're, we're already so many attempts in, it's like, does that thing even work? I'm kinda tempted to just never go for it again and that would be the biggest waste, but at the same time, you know? I just can't fucking get those gloves. It just will not give it to me, no matter how many times I try. 114 attempts. That's since I started counting. I might be way higher everything together, but let's just say those 114 attempts times around an average of like 40 bills, sometimes even more because I overpaid sometimes, let's say 40 bill each. That's already 4.5 trail spent, and it's probably a bit over that. Like, it's a fucking joke, dude. I can't take this seriously. So annoying. Are there any more tormented bracelets in the TP? If there's one for cheap, I'll do a little attempt on those. Oh yeah, sure, 11 bill. 11.5. Expensive as fuck, but we can give it one shot. See if we can get lucky on those. The enchanted chest just fucks me at every chance it gets. I don't feel lucky anymore. And the, uh, the gloves definitely are a little bit demotivating to say the least. Yeah. I just can't get shit from that. People getting one, two, three attempts on items on 5% chances, but that's not not for me or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I just wish I had like five trill to spend in one go on those stupid gloves. Alright, the heavenly lights of uh, blessedness have shined upon us. Because it's currently the edge of a hotspot. I haven't seen that in a while. It's always when I'm not online, but uh yeah, we're gonna go and try to get some of those uh, blood caskets. I don't think I'm gonna open them today, I wanna just collect as many as possible. In case they do get rebalanced and buffed a little bit. Alright, let's see who we got. Oh, we have fucking both like to see in Tectonic, yeah, fuck that, that's disgusting. Gotta be fast before they skip me. Here we go. Yeah, good fight I think. Easy as one, two, three. 
but I want a casket, although I did get a hundred blood money on that one, that's not bad at all. Pretty decent loot for someone in like spawnables and shit, what the fuck is that kid doing? What? Excuse me? Okay, what is happening? Just a PJ fest. Look at those shit specs, every sun single fucking time dude. Oh there we go, finally. And no casket. I don't know why, but it feels so incredibly satisfying to spec like above 90 with a Debo. It's gonna get me with the Debo. I was way on my food before the DFS even came in, and it still won't let you eat for the life of me. Fucking A. Called the run again. Good luck to you. Brovsky. Let's see what we can do. Um, caskets are still as elusive as they were. And this didn't kill him somehow. Okay, there we go. That should be it. There we go. Casket, please. Nope, no casket. What? What's a casket, man? I forgot what they look like. Oh, I have to right-click him. Yay. <clears throat> I know it's set to like targets, but if you're attacking someone, they should automatically become left-click. I wanna fight Autumn over here, good luck. See if he wants to fight me. One big one. Oh, he even hit my vengeance, but... Oh, I got him, good fight. <laughs> got him with the uh, dark bow at the end. Didn't expect that, because it almost never hits, but... GG, Let's go for a random ass Debo. Kill yourself on Fench, thank you. Thank fuck his rat didn't kill me. Still my casket. Next, put it like that. Oh shit, I'm really low HP as well. Oh fucking good fight. 91 Debo. Damn, too focused on eating though to do anything. Let's go for 88 right here, 61 into the 43. Teleporting, nope, he's dead. 12 minutes left, still at the one and only task that we've had so far. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm just rushing this time a bit more unexpectedly so he can't drop his double. Good fight. <laughs> yeah, dude. If you're gonna drop a double, then I'm gonna have to be quick on your ass, you know? We have some PJ and Kid over here. He was not very smart. Oh, nope. He is very smart. Got me just like that. Lol. I'm out of Dragonfire Awards, so it's back to normal uh, DFS's now. Only 12 minutes left. The casket grind has been quite dry today. It's not the best edge hotspot I've had in a while. Just no casket luck whatsoever. It felt way worse due to Bowflex getting casket after casket after casket after casket after casket. But yeah, there's not much I can do about it. Good thing this isn't the only thing that's gonna be in this video, because that would be one fucking depressing video. Although I have no clue what else I'm gonna do yet. Come on, big boy specs. Big boy hits, come on, you can do it, Bo. Just hit a little 90. On his fence, I don't even care, just do it. Show me some good fucking damage, man. Maybe if he hit my fence right there, that could have been something. But he didn't. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Well, I'm fucking done with this bullshit. I'm really getting tired of this. Fuck PK, dude. Oh, yep, Bowflex gets another one, okay. Yep, this is just great, mate. Fucking beautiful. One casket in that entire hour. Few minutes left, but the amount of orb losses is stupid. What's up, everyone? Metal Raymond here. I just quickly wanted to say that this was the last clip I actually recorded before the update came out, but it was days before the update came out. I just didn't play a lot in between. I was just kind of bored of everything. I think you could kind of tell by the commentary on these clips that it was a bit more towards the negative side, to say the least. Also, the room isn't very lit. Sorry about that, but yeah. Anyway. Um, so that's kind of the reason for that, other than that, um, yeah, the clips that are going to be playing right now will be from after the Halloween update came out. Really hope you guys enjoy, we made a ton of progress, and uh, yeah, 
let's uh, get right into it. Alright, the Reaper is about to spawn inside of the Mage Bank. Very edgy, but we're gonna give it a go. Maybe we can even uh, kill someone if we're lucky. Highly doubted, but we can give it a shot. If we bring something to kill with. Gotta be fast though, fuck's sake. Uh... Okay. Oh, look at all the people running, everyone going in on it. Let's hope we can see some good loots from someone. If anyone can catch a rare off. Is he already spawned? Yes, it is. Goddamn. Where is he? Where the fuck? Oh, there it is. Blood Reaper. Holy shit. That looks magnificent. Look at all the people in the wilderness right now. That's fucking sick, dude. Look at all these people. This is how you bring the community together, guys. This is the type of event you like to see. Now, it's about to die. Let's see what people get, if anyone gets a rare. Oh, I think no one got a rare. How the fuck am I gonna find those tokens in this pile? Holy shit. They should just go to your inventory. Um... Oh, never mind. There they are. Stupid! Not bad at all, but no one got a drop out of 94 people. Damn. Oh, I should have checked the drop table real quick, to be honest. Anyway, let's uh, rush back inside. That was pretty nice, nonetheless. Fun little event. It's nice to see this many people inside of the wilderness. Always good to see. I need to run around. That's annoying. Someone froze me. What a dickhead. Alright, we did a quick little Grandmaster Raid to uh, test out the scythe. I was curious, and it's fucking good. It's so insanely accurate. The amount of 230 pluses we hit was absolutely great. Still didn't break the drive streak though. Goddamn. Alright, so the last stream I did, if you haven't seen the uh, highlights yet, was fucking lit. Everything went really great, and the most surprising thing was the Blood Reaper scythe. So I figured, why not make a little video where we go more in depth on it, not specifically going for smite or anything, just seeing how good it is in raw damage. I am taking the Blood Reaper pet with me, in case you don't know, the pet gives uh, like stats, just general stats. If I pick it up right now, you'll see that the stats are a lot lower. I don't know, it will probably close the menu, but stats increase quite a bit, some strength bonus, etc. But it also increases accuracy and damage whenever you're low HP. We're gonna start off with a Skulled setup. I mean, if I get Edge Hotpot at any point, I'll do some Unskulled Decaying as well. But for now, I would prefer to be able to Skull, so we can just fight anyone and uh, not have to worry about too much. Just gotta make sure I keep my Scythe on death. Yeah, the Blood Whip is, of course, absolutely destroying this guy. We're gonna go in for a Scythe spec. We hit a 52. Not bad at all, but we can poke a little higher than that for sure. And off my soul split so I get a bit lower HP. Oh, and he ate a fool. Okay, okay. I see you. And then we're gonna go in for a scythe hit at low HP. Oh, he risked it with a primal 2 H. Good fight. He had me just a little bit faster. Damn, that sucks. Really could have gone in for a high hit right there. I was so low HP as well. Let's try that again. Okay, who are we gonna fight? I just want to get as many tokens as possible at the moment. So I just want to fight anyone, I don't really care too much about who. If it's a target preferably, because I do need a few more tiers. Just to have, in case I do want to go for tier 10s. It's always good to have a few in the bank then. <clears throat> Alright, he's getting me a little bit lower. Perfect, ah no, he didn't hit. We hit a 58 with our Scythe right there with the spec. And a 73 normal hit to follow it up with. Absolutely insane. This thing is so fucking, go fucking good. It hits so incredibly high. I can't wait to show you guys the max spec with this thing. The max thing it can hit with the special attack. Let's fight this dude real quick. He's in full Dragon Ore. That's an interesting setup he has. Probably because his special attack weapon is a... Spawnable item, maybe? Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, he hit me really hard right there. Oh, he has Claw's Ornament. Oh! Ooh. 
And he got a fucking uh, statue from me. Congrats, dude. Damn. Can't believe he got me so quick. Great start of the video, as always, when I plank a few times. Hit me. Perfect. 58, good fight. There we go. Of course, we do want to see a much better special attack than that. Let's go find this Kova dude over here. Let's hope he actually brings me to a bit of lower HP so I can actually use my pet to its best potential. Because <clears throat> at low HP, the Scythe can hit little 80s without spike hit. There you go, 60 good fight. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Give me those Halloween tokens, 70 of them, very nice. We can go for 2 and 1, I don't mind too much. I definitely need this Scythe of my own. Like one that's mine, and we hit the max hit right there. With the side, a 45 45 for the kill. And I want to fight this yak to you guy. Come on, good luck, me. Don't have, I shouldn't underestimate the fact that he has a Zebo. Careful, careful around that. Plus the Blood Phoenix pet, very dangerous setup. I'm gonna eat there. I am risking 112 tokens at the moment, stupidly enough. And, oh, that didn't kill him yet. Repot, boom. Keep up the combos, man. Finish him. Oh god damn it! He ages me right now. That would be the smartest thing he can do. Cause I'm staying at such low HP. Should have gone for it way earlier, dude. Wasted. Oh, we have traffic over here. I want to find him. Good luck. Ah, of course, he has the first hit. Ah, shame. Wanted to go for the low HP risk on him, but couldn't make it in time, obviously, because of the bombing spec. It's an annoying thing. That's not gonna cut it. 87. <laughs> wow. Okay, we just hit a fucking 87 without a spec. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Alright, next target, Asphyxiate. Good luck to you, man. Don't wreck me too quick, please. Not much you're gonna do about that. I'm gonna fight Yakti. Come here. I'm low on food. It shouldn't be a problem. If we can get just a big whip hit off. Go for a random one. A zero. Interesting. First time we hit that so far. Mountains up. Dude, can I hit him down a bit, please? Good fight. <laughs> hit an 80 on him. GG. You're not gonna out eat that, man. Give me that orb. Nigeria seems to be rushing or something. I wanna give that a shot. Just give it a try. Oh, we hit a 21 with the spec down. It's gonna rush me. Good fight. <laughs> there we go. Free loot right there. Finish him. Oh, so close yet so far. Choose the Blood Whip in combination with our beautiful Blood Elder Ring thingy. Elder Blood Ring. Just for the wacky combos. Of course, of course. If it ends up in the video is another question entirely, but good fight. Two in one. And we got some Blood Charts, you don't see that every day. Mr. Jiba over here. I'm gonna try and drop him real quick with some more free tokens. Side go. I don't know how accurate it is to hit at high HP. Just kind of feels like you're always missing out if you don't have low HP for the pet effect. But we hit a 90 at nearly full HP anyway. <laughs> Yo. He didn't know what else to say. Billy, my son, you're dead as well. I don't care if you skip me. You don't have to skull. Um, I didn't even mean to hit. Why are you pretty noob? I gotta be a bit more quiet, but I do want to get a few more kills. Wouldn't that be funny? I gotta right click him. 89, though, good fight.
ages to hit on him. He was so tanky. I am so glad I killed him. Fucking bank loot, dude. Viper Karasi, Burning Stop, Primal 2H, GG. I'm gone for like a few seconds and the fucking thing spawns, okay. Run. Where the fuck is that reaper? It instantly spawned as well, I did not expect that. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Hey, let's see what we get this time around. We also have Tevin over there. Maybe I'll... No, Tevin, don't run. I want to kill you. Wait, what? Someone got a kill... Got a loot at zero KC? What do you mean? Where the fuck are the tokens, dude? I'm gonna go kill Tevin real quick. Oh shit, he TP'd me. Oh no. Can I still move? I can't. Oh no. Yes, knew it. Ah, come on. That was off his prayer for sure. Yeah, I think we're dead. Tevin has way too much on his prayer switches. I can't beat that shit. No matter what I try. Just impossibly. <laughs> Entangle KO. <laughs> Ooh, good luck to this little DHR over here. Oh, he running. Wait, you hit that high? No thank you. Oh, he's fenched. That's always dangerous. Low HP. There we go, good fight. Fat. Oh, he risked guardian boots? Okay. Oh, no, I... I got him from the random treasure kill. And I get the fucking boot. Wow, that hurts. Wow, that fucking hurts, dude. Guardian boots as a rare PvP drop. The first one I ever get, and it's Guardian boots. Big F. Alright, let's round this off with a few spins on the chest. We have 11,000 tokens, so we can only use 10k of that, unfortunately. Um, don't need to lose this, but I figured if I'm going to do another video with that, I'll keep it until then. I do want to test out the Reaper Bludgeon a bit more as well, because I haven't really seen too much of that. It didn't look too good at first sight. Anyway, let's see what we can get from four new rolls. Please let me be lucky. Come on. Oh! Blood Party Ad. We did get one of the rares, just not the one we would like to see. And we got the Joker top. Okay, not too bad. We got a lot of the junky items out of the way. Blood Party Ed isn't the one you want. <laughs> but uh, not too bad, I guess. Fun little item. How much is this at the moment? Blood Party? Wait, what? There's none in the TP? Are you kidding me? That's a surprise. What? Blood Party. The fuck, none have been sold so far. I have no idea. I'm gonna just put it in for a hundred bill then. Blood party. And I don't know why none are finding. I'm sure, a few people opened the entire chest already. I got myself one more little attempt. They are so expensive, dude. Hard to buy them at seven mil each, to be honest. I managed to get a coin casket for ten bill. That's not even too bad, honestly. Only five bill loss. <laughs> I think I have enough tokens for one more spin, actually, or close to. No, I have enough. We can do one more, come on, wish me luck. Just give me the casket, that's all I want. If I can get that early on, I don't have to open everything else, to be honest. Ooh, we got a mystery ticket, just one, though. Should we open it? Good luck. <laughs> Pet fuse, please. Oh, three grand crests, that's not even bad. We're just gonna open them and fucking good luck. Just... 
give me a grand ring, please. Ah, Dragon Skimitar or <laughs> Bad luck. Oh well, the, the bond isn't too bad. Alright, I do kind of want to get a scythe eventually, so we might as well just spend a bunch on these tokens if I can buy them. Some people are really dumb and putting it in for amounts like that. I'll pay up to a max of 8 mil each. Preferably a bit under it, but let's just buy a bunch of attempts with the cash we have. Fucking YOLO. How much do I need exactly? Never mind, I got them for 7 mil each. Good luck. Let's do a bunch of rolls and see if we can get lucky. 25 attempts. Kinda have to empty it in order to get even close to making profit on this shit. If I can just get the casket, man, I would be so happy. Wow, the blood diamonds in a row, dude. What the fuck was that? Only a few attempts left, four more. Come on, man, give me one more good item, please. Two more, last one. Wow, unlucky, dude. We did clear out a lot of the items, but we didn't get lucky on any of them. And a bunch of those stupid blood diamonds one at a time, who the fuck wants that? We didn't get any of the uh, good shit yet. We did get a few mystery boxes and stuff, some caskets for one bill cash, 1k blood money. And we got the gravestone tonic, I'm not too sad about that, that's a pretty cool item. Alright, this is obviously gonna go down on that account's profit, but my merch account has managed to get another 18,000 tokens. Bit of a shame profit wise, but I don't really care too much. Almost 20k tokens, we're just slightly off, I do need a few more. And then we can do a few more attempts, see if we can just get lucky on that, I suppose. I'm uh, gonna have to buy them just like this, separately. But I do want to get them as cheap as possible. That should be enough if I just buy this. And then let's see what we get from our last few attempts, and then it's back to saving up tokens. We're gonna clear out this entire thing for sure at some point. Or at least until I get the Halloween casket. And then just pray to fucking god that it gives me the scythe hilt and not a bludgeon or something. Wow, I got more junk. We got all the crappy items in the book so far, guys. <laughs> if there's a crappy item in there, I'll get it. Alright, last tokens I could possibly scrape in for another one build chest. Okay, rip. I just can't get lucky on the, on the best items I need. Definitely want to have a shot at that though. But now we're broke, so we're gonna go back. I'm just gonna off-screen camp a bunch of tokens out, most likely, until something eventful happens again. So yeah, we're gonna end off the episode right here. Quite a little bit of progress, quite a fun one. It's a bit of a mix and mash, I would say, because a lot of the clips were from before the update and a bunch after the update. But uh, definitely very interesting, I'm really happy about the scythe. Uh, I'm sure it will get nerfed because I think it's too broken at the moment, but I kind of hope it doesn't. <laughs> Until it's used against me, then I would want it nerfed again, probably. But it's definitely uh, too overpowered for the wilderness, in my opinion. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll uh, see you all in the next episode. Metal Raymond out.